A video is making the rounds showing a weekend fight on Bourbon Street. In it, a UFC fighter can be seen choking another man unconscious. Hey, good evening, everyone, and thank you for watching. I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Cherie Gibson. The fighter claims he was acting in self-defense. Erica Ferrando joining us now in studio with more on what happened that day, Erica. Hey, Katie and Cherie's former UFC fighter Nate Diaz was in New Orleans for the Misfits boxing event at Xavier Friday night. Videos show dozens of the fighters and social media influencers out on Bourbon Street late that night when several appeared to start fighting in the street. This video taken around 2 a.m. Saturday shows a large fight outside Crescent City Pizza on Bourbon following a Misfits boxing event at Xavier. Former UFC fighter Nate Diaz is seen here against the wall. A few seconds into the video, you see Diaz choking a man, then laying him on the ground. And OPD says the man was believed to be unconscious. From my perspective, it was really like everything was good. I say what's up to everybody because I'm cool with everybody. I turn around. And there's just a huge, a huge brawl taking place. JP, who goes by the name Overflow, is a gamer and black belt in jujitsu. He says there were nearly 2,000 people in town for the influencer boxing event, including Diaz. JP says this bourbon brawl stemmed from altercations during the event. Of Nate Diaz throwing the bottle at Chase Moore, and there was like this huge scuffle that happened in the arena. And hours later on Bourbon Street. From the scuffle earlier, there was still some uh, little trash talk, bad blood going on, I suppose. So I literally, I say, what's up, Nate? I look back and there's just a huge scuffle taking place, right? Some people are trying to separate it. Some people are getting involved and there's already police on the scene almost immediately. New Orleans police say officers were able to disperse the crowd. JP says the other man involved in this video is Rodney Peterson. Rodney Peterson is the Logan Paul stunt double. Police say he regained consciousness and was bleeding from the back of his head. I think he had to get like stitches or something. He uh, hit his head pretty hard. Police later issued an arrest warrant for Diaz who faces a second degree battery charge. Diaz's representative Zach Rosenfield said in a statement, Nate's attorney looks forward to presenting all of the facts about this incident to the district attorney, which clearly demonstrate that a trained fighter named Rodney Peterson aggressively pursued Nate with the intention of engaging him. And once doing so, Nate acted entirely in self-defense. Diaz retweeted a tweet by another pro fighter that defends Diaz. The post argues he was in a defensive posture and only a foot from the wall. It's been wild. And police told us today Diaz is not yet in custody. His representatives said they are aware of the arrest warrant and they've been in touch with court authorities in New Orleans. All right, Erica, thank you so much. New Orleans